what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more high q happy thursday to y'all out there as you know i've recorded these episodes in advance i could be trying to make a killing on patreon but i'm not doing that guys i'm not going to put my reactions on um behind a paywall because i don't believe in that i don't i just i just don't i just don't feel good about it and you know I just don't. I, I just don't feel good about it. I've considered doing it in the past, you know, a long time ago. And I was like, I, my conscience just won't allow me to be able to be okay with it. And I know people make a killing on Patreon, thousands of dollars a month, you know, and people support them. And, you know, I already told you guys that I will never do that. If I do do that, it's just going to be a timer. It's not going to be anything like what you're seeing now on the Google Drive. But I am planning to put this somewhere else other than the Google Drive to so you guys don't have to deal with those um, play limits, right? Um, so I'm in the process of transferring all my all my reactions right now still doing it it's taking me a while because it's a lot of videos and i have to do it when i have time to do it sometimes i leave stuff uploading but the website or the the, the you know the cloud that i'm trying to get them to it only allows me to do um a certain amount of gigs per week so i have to be patient while i'm doing it plus also, I have to do it when I have time to do it. So, um, in any case, we're continuing and I'm loving where this anime is going, right? And I know I'm not the most excited person in the world, okay? <laughs> I know none of you guys are, I know none of you guys are really coming at me about that, but sometimes I really sit down and I look at myself so relaxed. You know, and the only thing I can do is be myself because that's who I am. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm super, super excited about something and you can tell, um, you know what I'm saying? And you could tell, but sometimes I'm super, 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 super excited about something and you can't really tell because I'm not doing as much body movement because some people, they feel like I can be excited, super excited. And all I'm doing is just smiling. You get what I'm saying? Like, I can just be smiling, 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 smiling. And you will never know because I'm not giving you no body language other than my smile. For you to think I say, yo, that shit is good. Shit is great, right? And I can be, yo, that shit was crazy. You get what I'm saying? So my natural demeanor is not a very flambunk flambunctious what the hell is that is that even a word flambunctious <laughs> you know so you can tell sometimes like if i'm hyped about something of course you're going to know because i think my hype levels they go places you know what i mean but i sometimes i really do feel like i'm boring <laughs> so sometimes i look at myself in the camera and i'm like man show a little bit of excitement you know what i mean so um for me it's like from my my natural demeanor is just to be like Okay, that's cool. You get what I'm saying? But if, if I'm super, super excited, sometimes I could be that way just the same. And sometimes I don't get off that. But if I'm super excited, super hype about something, or maybe I just ate a lot of sugar or something, you'll see a different side of me. But for the most part, like some most people can't really tell or judge me in a certain way in most time. And it, it's something that I've kind of taught myself to do in business and stuff like that is to not get too overly excited about stuff and sometimes it transfer into my casual life so that's the reason why I, sometimes you might not be able to tell if i'm excited about something sometimes if that's something i don't think it's something that you guys worry about but i just find myself talking about that right now but anyways let's jump into these reactions and i will see you guys for the review Alright, so there you go guys, another two episodes in the bag for you guys. So um next week before you guys get more episodes. Hope you guys are enjoying the reactions, man. Let me know in the comment section, of course. Um so these two episodes basically ending the um 
ending the the um the practice sessions and in the practice um learning new stuff um Kageyama and Hinata getting things down um hopefully they can execute that new quick on a regular basis that's pretty hard to execute and then we jumped into the tournament Karasuna has won their first match pretty easily if you ask me two sets in a row um best way to win demolish your opponents and they won by a good spread too i think it's like it was a 10 point spread in each set um so pretty good pretty good win should get them high for the next match but they're um a little bit weary about who they're going up against because this guy's like two meters tall um pretty pretty good height for volleyball i'm gonna say that much <laughs> i'm gonna say that much um He's definitely taller than anybody on um, on Karasuna because I think Tsukishima is the tallest and he's like 190. So, uh, so yeah, man, pretty cool stuff. So, when it comes on to when it comes on to this show, I want to say this: there is the the feeling that I get when I when I watch this show, and that's why I pay attention so hard. And you know I laugh, and all that, and all that good stuff is just that. I'll, there's a lot of stuff that happens in the show that makes you feel so good inside that sometimes I'm like forcing back tears because it's so inspirational. It's so, you know what I'm saying. Even that little backstory we got on the school that they beat, you know what I'm saying. So inspirational. Even though, you know, I was really ragging on that dude because. He, he literally gave up in the middle of a match. You don't do that in sports. F first of all, your teammates in real life, your teammates will never trust you again. Period. So you're basically off the team. Is either you're getting benched or you're off the team. You don't do that. You don't just give up on a play. Yeah, you can slack off on defense in, in certain sports and stuff like that you can you know slack off on defense or whatever or you just don't give it your all on, on one play but that was like the play that was the play you're down you don't you don't do that if you're ahead you can do something like that it's like oh it's just one measly point they're gonna get back whatever you know but also you just don't you don't do that stuff at all because that one point could lead to a momentum change and lead to a comeback we've seen it plenty of times in sports you just don't do it you get what i'm saying sometimes it's excusable sometimes in most cases it's inexcusable you just don't do that so i was ragging on him for um it was warranted you know um but he found his balls you know, because of his former um, teammate, captain that was there, they saw, uh, and you go through that, man. You go through that. Losses and tears are one in the same. They come together. They're two peas in a pod. Loses, lo I mean, losses and tears. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, and it's good to get that over with because now what do you do? Do you give up? Or do you press forward to get better and not lose again or even get closer to that win that you seek? So for me in life, as a general rule, is that if I lose, if I'm doing, if I'm selling something and I'm going door to door or whatever, of course, people are going to tell you no. Not everybody's going to want your product. Some people are just not going to want to be bothered. That's a... Uh, um, you know what I'm saying? So you go by the law of averages, you know, of, you know, OK, if I knock on 100 doors today, I might get one or two sales. You get what I'm saying? But are you not? Are you just going to knock on two doors to get those two sales? No, you go knock on 100 doors to get those two sales every day. You get what I'm saying? And some days you're not going to get any sales. But are you going to stop 
on that day that you didn't get any sales, even though you knocked on a hundred doors and say, man, this is not going to work out. You go out there your first day, you knock on a hundred doors, you don't get any sales. What are you going to do? Are you going to give up because you did all that work, all that walking in the sun, whatever the situation is, and you didn't get a sale? Is that what you're going to do? No. You get what I'm saying? You're not going to give up. You get, you get my meaning? You get what I mean? You're not going to give up. Uh, and if you give up just based on that, then you're never going to succeed at anything in life because basically most things in life is a law of averages, just like this channel where thousands of people watch my channel, thousands of people watch my, you know what I'm saying? Hundreds of people watch my, re watch my reactions, but a ton of people that watch my reactions don't actually subscribe to the channel. It's a law of average. You get what I'm saying? So people who's gonna who's gonna mess with you who's gonna who's gonna really grasp whatever you get what i'm saying it's one of the goal but it's not the goal you get what i'm saying so for me um you know when it comes on to subscribership and all of that and all of that stuff like i don't sweat it that much because i know people actually watch the channel they just don't subscribe to the channel so i'm not sweating as much some people subscribe to your channel like i know i'm not the most beautiful guy on the planet you know what i'm saying so i'm not gonna sweat it as much i know that when i hit those goals it's gonna mean a lot to me and i know those you know those wins you know are going to make me feel very good and i'm probably going to cry in my 10,000 subscriber video, I'm not even going to lie to you because it's been a grind. It's been hard for me to maintain a YouTube channel while doing other, the other things I do in life. So it's going to mean a lot to me. I know 50,000 is going to mean a lot. I know 100,000 is going to be a lot. It's going to mean a lot to me. And I know I'm, I know there is a 70% chance I'm going to cry in those videos, whether they be Q and a videos or whatever I do for those videos. It might just be congratulations to us again. I know I'm probably going to feel very overwhelmed with joy to get there because it is a goal of mine. And then whenever I hit my goals and the significant goals in life, I usually get very overwhelmed with joy. So, um, so yeah, man, I'm looking forward to see what high is going to bring to the table next and to see these matches. Um, of course I'm waiting to see them go up against a team they've already played. Um, especially I think they're going to end up playing over Josiah again, and I'm ready for that one. That one is the one I'm looking forward to. I know they're probably going to end up playing against Ushijima, but Aoba Josai, that is the match I want to see because we're not taking no more L's from this team. We're not taking no more L's from this team. We learned our lesson. We came back stronger. It is time. If they come back with the same bullshit, we know we saw their little montage of them practicing, of Oikawa practicing, but we ready. We came back with so many weapons from that training camp. I don't see us losing against any of these teams. We got it down. We got so many different strategies they not going to see coming. But let's get it. Let's go. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, you guys are wonderful. You guys are everything that I need sometimes in a day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just seeing your comments. So make sure you leave a comment, leave a like, and I will catch you guys later, man. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and peace.